Hello guys and welcome back to another Blender tutorial. Today, we're gonna see how to create topographic lines from any 3D shape. So, I will show you how to do that on a simple terrain and the method can apply to any mesh you have. And for that, I will use the landscape add-on that is built in Blender. So if you want to follow along, head to the preferences and enable the add-on. Or use any mesh you want if you have something to work on. I will add a terrain from the samples and just leave it as B. The next thing we need to do is to add a plane, and maybe switch to wireframe mode for a better preview. After that, let us copy the plane along the z-axis using the array modifier. So select the plane, add the array on it, and put the modifier at the constant type rather than relative. In the distance value, change the z-axis to any amount that you see fit, then increase the count until you cover the entire mesh. One thing to pay attention to is the plane's scale. Try to match it with the mesh area as much as possible, so don't make it too big or too small. Next step we will use the boolean modifier on the mesh terrain we have, so it's recommended to make a copy of your mesh before that. Once you add the boolean to the terrain, put it on intersect mode, and you can read the difference between each types of the boolean modifier. You also can put it on a fast solver since we need only simple lines and not details. Now for the intersecting object, we will choose the array, so you should go now and apply the array modifier. Then assign the plane copies in the boolean object. And here you have it. If we hide the planes, you can see the contour lines, and with this, we can proceed to convert it into curves, then add some depth to it with the curve geometry settings. Before you render this, you can enter edit mode and clean any extra vertices that you don't need. And once you're done, place a camera on the scene, and maybe use some light with it, or use an emission material to lit things in the scene, and just render it normally. A similar method to this can be used in making parametric furniture, and we did make a video on that, so make sure to check it out at the end. You can also go the other way and make topography lines into mesh by using loft tool, the shrink wrap modifier, or the ESM add-on, and we did cover the last method in a previous tutorial, so have fun watching it, stay sharp guys, goodbye.